same lane as like the Superman. You have to be of one of the well, old school the internet tricks, perverts then. to even know anything about this type of they shit. They gotta get rid of the tricks, uh, uh, Siri, cause he a pedophile. Oh man, and you know this Quaker Oats. I bet they ain't gonna take that racist ass nigga off that oatmeal. I bet you they ain't gonna change Ooh. the name of the Washington Redskins. You know the oatmeal, man. ain't gonna do that shit. That really are making nigga go. I Wait a minute, shit I bet y'all don't know what Yankees mean. Oh yes, I do. Hmm. Yeah, right. that, but see, that's what the, that's a disrespectful <laughs> term. The people in the South used to call northern white people. That's they shit. Right. But I'm talking about like the damn Yankees. Right. They need to give us if they gonna start giving us shit. They need to give us real shit. Like we was talking about the other day, low. Like not not even that. They need to give us real power. Like for example, right. the dudes who. Them bitch ass motherfuckers who killed George Floyd. Right. We need to have a setup to where when people do shit like that, the black people they we get, get handed we, over to black people. Right. We get to implement our own justice for people who do us greasy in this country. Need to be able to like, come on, come on, put That's that nigga we right get down to do. that ship. Mm-hmm. We get to implement like nigga, you we killed George Floyd. We need our own version. You gotta of the fight black Mike Tyson for six rounds, bare, bare fisted, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. That's what you got to do. You got to get in the ring with the, the That's new what Mike. You want? Okay, so we need like a, a squad that we can call on all these racist yeah, ass yeah. Karens like Big Tosh and them just pull up. Right. You got squared with Big Tosh. You Something like that. It's like a, like a captain. Call the police on there. You ain't got to fight Kiki now. Right. Ooh. Or make them do some shit they ain't never did before, like jump double dutch for 30 minutes straight. You got to get your hair braided again. real tight. You, right. That type of shit. Anything that just make it known that we got the tight. power. Tight, tight. Tight. Can't go to sleep. To so where you can't blink. You can't even smile. So tight that they end up having your shit looking like this in the front. That tight. But you, go, you, go like court, Wrong too, mama. you go to court for calling the police <laughs> yeah. niggas, the judge order you to wear a lace front wig for 30 days. With no glue, no. bitch. <laughs> but in front the, of the fan. We the judges. They, we need to be over the courts where these motherfuckers come after they do black people greasy. That'll make me believe that America really is giving us something. Because you got to think. They still ain't giving us shit because they still got a government. No, but that's the thing. You got to understand. It's only been. If you look at the Constitution. The shit that the country is ran on, what it's built upon. The 27 amendments, this, they ain't going against that. It's only three that's beneficial to black people. The 13th, the 14th, and the 15th. Those niggas didn't think about us they got the 13th. They got the 13th. They was running out of shit. What else we could do? And then they say, <laughs> the third, to break it down, the 13th amendment say slavery is abolished. Until Unless you go to prison. You go to jail. And then... After that, they was like, well, shit, let's make the penitentiary system. And once they did that, you know what they did? They was like, who's next? Go, go, go. Niggas was going straight to jail. So it's like they don't. That's why niggas were going to the army because they felt like they were free. 14th Amendment. You can't be or not. Everybody, 14th is when you're born in America, you're a citizen. So that means not only is slavery abolished, when you have children, they aren't slaves. Your children are born free. If you have kids in America, your children are free. Right. Then the amendment after that means you, can, you can't be discriminated on voting because of your race. Them the only three. This was in 1865. Ever since then, they ain't did shit for niggas. But y'all know they got to vote every 25 years to let African Americans vote. So what we changing? What we changing? I salute everybody that's out in the streets. I done did my goddamn protesting and no I'm talking about all the way back to the Gen of six this shit ain't new you know what I mean and I think been, shit, that's what I'm saying I've been to every goddamn protest since that shit right you dig what I'm saying ain't none of this new so this shit been going on for a long time shit been going on back back and back. I think that and it's just my opinion I think the shit. only reason white people are so gung-ho about showing that oh I'm with you guys is because the George Floyd murder was the one that they had to watch while in seclusion they ain't never been forced to sit down and watch one like that because you think about Amadou Diallo and all that motherfucker got shot you know, 40 the, times. This is the disturbing Talk part. Shit, Chico. This is the disturbing part about that yeah. shit, Chico. You dig? It's yeah. going down. Out of all that shit that didn't happen, until that this George Floyd shit happened, some white people really were totally clueless. They were like, oh they my believe fucking it. God. Are they really doing y'all like this? Man, Richard Price said the same thing in the 70s. He said they put it in the newspaper and white people was like, oh, apparently they've been beating up niggas like hotcakes. <laughs> That's so strange. ain't shit changed, man. Like yeah, that shit in the mansion. Man, man that shit know. is unfair. Will was about to cry. That my nigga. He looked at it and was like, I don't think he was about to cry. Entanglement, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey man. 
Anytime a nigga stop and then no get the twitch, he crying on the inside. Man, that meme they put out gonna replace the Jordan meme. That hey. one with that nigga. Boy. That nigga no twitches, but that nigga crying. No, that's the thing. What what nigga, you gotta understand if you ain't never been in that position where you done had your feelings hurt by a woman before, you you if oh, every man, TV. Every man that look at that picture know the shit that's going on in that nigga head at that moment, like, man, this motherfucker got me fucked. All the way up. An entanglement, what? huh? Huh. <laughs> hey. An entanglement, huh? Where you learn that word at? Did that nigga teach you that motherfucking word? <laughs> the crazy part she is. She already had it ready. No. She had it no. ready for him. This is what this the killing part. They this is what made him make that face. He be saying that shit all the time. Ooh. And it ain't got shit to do with no shit like Ooh, that. Ooh, that's a cold. That's how one. That's why when she hit him with it, yeah. he was like. <laughs> yeah, that's why that shit hurt. <laughs> He knew it, but when she tried to play a him on him in front of everybody, that's when the oh. shit fell out. Oh. Then you heard what she said. She was like, I thought we were done. He was like, no, nah, we were. Huh. Huh. If we were, now, we, done we, were now. Fin- we were finished. You, you know, can we, always tell yeah. when a nigga just found out some shit for the first time. That entanglement shit hurt. Yeah. Yeah, because you could tell he. He grabbed their hand. He put them together. Cause she fucked. I he was holding this thing. He hugging like, himself. That's just what it looked like. It looked like she mm. had asked him at one point. So what are we? I what, need a hug. Uh, it's an entanglement. Yes, that was the soul crush. <sighs> he knew all the fucking details and all that shit. That ain't hurt him. It was the word choice. He made her say relate. He's like, so a uh, relationship. She's like, oh, yes, okay, it was a relationship. But they married though, so they they went there. <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't see the problem if that's the way they living. If you that's what, what you're doing. But after that, you can't, you know what I mean? You, can't, you, you, can't, ain't, you ain't take that opportunity. That was a golden opportunity to be like, look, man, this is how we living. I ain't, fuck, right? I ain't fuck with no married woman. No disrespect, but y'all might not understand, but look, this is how we been living for a long time. This is the way we stay together. That shit she said about you ain't leaving, that's real. We live by that. But yeah, that, right. Go that home. Shit, entanglement. Entanglement, man. It's a lot of people that's in it. That's going to be the new word going forward, though. This, that's what I'm saying. This shit ain't shocking to me. Yeah, so entanglement ain't nothing but a good word to say cheat, that I'm cheating. But it ain't cheating it ain't because, cheating it's, already because it's already understood that you ain't cheating. So it's like, if it's, you're in an open it, relationship. it's a cold word for open relationship. Like you, if you're in an entanglement, right. that mean that you can run off somewhere else. Catch you ain't a, got, nah, you ain't got to sneak. I mean, that's what I mean. I'm just saying run off somewhere else in regards to where, you, Shit, where the, your them, home is. For them to have a round table, they was sneaking. You know what I mean? They that nigga, run that off, nigga sitting you get hit, with you one leg back, under his leg. Lit. That nigga was comfortable. Now tell me. That was a lot of information that's, to take in with one leg. That's how you know leg. that nigga was he, was, he was holding that shit in. What? You got to study body language. Yeah. I'm telling you. He was trying to, trying to restrain himself. That book of Eli. That shit, <laughs> that, that's the wrong nigga. That the nigga we were finna see. That's why I got water. Yeah, I'm talking about my man had the mean face. Like that one where you know when, when she really gets you back, I'm good. When she gets you back for real and ain't nothing you can do. I smoke that And you whole... sitting there. Well, you see me, nigga, I put this shit out like three You sitting times. there looking and there's nothing you can say. She tan your motherfucking ass. You bitch ass nigga. But this is what I learned a long time. Will Smith is a better human being than, 90, everybody, than right? 99% of people on earth. Yeah. We still young and we know the old school, but we the first nigga that caught the millennium shit too, though. Right. You feel me? Like, we grew into that. Nigga, that's so raven. We made that so raven hot. Who the fuck? Proud family. We made that proud family. Nigga. See, I miss a lot of that. Flintstone, we made the flip. Nigga, Scooby Doo, we made Scooby Doo. No, Scooby Doo. Blue Clue. Scooby Doo been around since the 70s, nigga. Been around for how long, though? Shit. But but when y'all niggas start watching? In the 90s. For real, for real. No, uh uh-uh. uh. I can't let you say that, DC. In the 80s, who DC. watched Scooby Doo? We sat there for hours and watched Scooby Doo, nigga. We was watching Scooby Doo when they had new episodes, nigga. We was like, what? Hey, it can't be Mr. Johnson. All right. He was a nice man. All he wanted to do was rent his boats. <laughs> Why would he do Scooby and Shaggy like that? He was about to kill Scooby-Doo, nigga. Then, you know how many times a nigga has Shaggy and Scoob tied up over some boiling acid? Like, nigga, you like scaring people that bad that you would kill that doggy and that little white boy? He talking about that doggy. <laughs>
Hey, now this is the fucked up part. How old were these motherfuckers? Because Fred and them can they drive. They always were just riding. Man. Fred had the van. See, Fred had the work van. And Velma was the brains. You but if you saying? watch Scooby Doo, it'll just tell you it's really just about some hippies tripping on acid, thinking they're seeing ghosts and shit. No, they ain't. If you really watch it, yeah, it is the little the mystery van. Nigga, who the fuck drove mystery vans with flowers and shit all over? Nigga, hippies and yep. hippies smoked weed and did acid, so they just hallucinated. Mm -hmm. That's all the whole show is about. Scooby Doo is a figment of your imagination. But that's why Scooby Snacks was really the edibles. Them niggas get no wait. What you need? I need Scooby Snacks, <laughs> nigga. What you need? A fucking Scooby Snacks. Okay, that's my whole. Nigga, get that Scooby Snacks. Let's go, Jackie. Let's that's go. That's the whole basis of my argument. <laughs> Them nigga ready to ride. How high you gotta be to think your dog talking to you? <laughs> and everybody talking to the dog. Niggas don't know. All right, think about this. School had a say so, but didn't. They will listen to him, but won't listen. They be like, cause school always tell them, go up there. They be like, fuck you, school. Then they go anyway. I'm telling and you. And then school figure it out. The whole show is about being on drugs, man. I told you. Cause it sounds like a high ass conversation. If you think about the overall plot of Scooby Doo, the motherfucker was just sitting there talking and be like, yeah, nigga. And the dog solved the mysteries, nigga. And he got cousins that come, and we can give the cousins different little hats. They look like Scooby Doo, but they ain't the same kind of dog. You feel what I'm saying? Like Scooby Doo, he like a motherfucking mastiff. But his cousin is a bull master. You see what I'm saying? That's the type of shit Scooby Doo was. She was lit. His little partner was five too. Scrap it. That's his nephew. Happy. I'm like, yes, sir. Little homie now ready to hit by yeah. everything. He ready. He coming out the man. Fuck these niggas. Man, nigga, what's happening? Like, man, bring your little slow ass on. Now, over see, here. he said we didn't watch Scooby Doo. Now, I done seen Scooby Doo whole family, nigga. Okay. I seen when his sister came and dropped Scrappy Doo off. Yeah, oh. Scooby Doo got a sister that look exactly like him. She just had like a red, a red heart a red on her heart. neck. Exactly. Yeah. Then his other cousin came from Alabama. The nigga had the fishing hat ducked off like yeah. this. <laughs> with the dog ears. And the nigga had a motherfucking red vest. He looked just like Scooby Doo, but he was light skinned. Yeah, he was a chill. He talked funny. Yeah. Come on, man. He was cool. He was cool. Right. <laughs> All right. All right, you proved your point, old nigga. Mm -hmm. Shit. I ain't no school been Scrappy around that Doo long Scrappy Doo used though. to fight like a motherfucker. Come on, let me at him. Let me at him. I'll get Man, come on. Scrap with the lick. Scrap with the lick. Yeah. Flags. What is that doing? I don't like it, Los. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I don't what? like the way they've been trying to fake give us shit. And that we didn't ask habit. for. We ain't asked for like nothing. What, Who the fuck told them to take Aunt your mama off the syrup? Like, hey, nigga, the family mad in the that. motherfucker about that. I, that was next. I mean, I don't understand. I don't Uncle Ben is out here. Her great niece is up there like, please don't take my auntie off there. I don't know who the hell told her. That's the real auntie. Now. But think about it. Let's say they did say they do take Aunt your mama off the syrup. Now they admit in 2020 that it was racist. So what are you going to give us for all the other years we've been staring at that racist shit? You ain't gonna give they us. They gotta replace her with another black woman. No, they you gotta know, make syrup free for niggas. That's what they gotta do. Nigga, you know why it's racist? Because it, you know, ain't your mama ain't really ain't your mama. It's that ain't your mama. You are high already. Yeah, already. <laughs> you already high. Uncle Ben too. Uncle Ben. Got I don't on. like how we losing black people though. Yeah. I know it's racist as fuck, but if they gonna take them off. For, yeah. Put somebody else on there. Right. Ain't Master your mama P. ain't racist. Bro. Change that shit from Uncle Ben to Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil raised the generation. I right, fuck with some Uncle Phil rights. They put yeah. motherfucking no. Uncle Phil from Fresh Prince on no. there. That'll work. I'm... They said they was gonna replace Aunt Jemima with a go, black man. lady named <laughs> Sheila. That's a lawyer that like waffles sometimes. Hell no. Keep Aunt just... Jemima on there. How they hide? Why, why is it racist? They gonna need to send the family a check first of all. But why is Aunt Jemima racist? They, they say Aunt it, Jemima is racist because it was a it was a term used during slavery to describe you know mammies. You know what I mean? It's like a real well, they way literally to hired mammies. the lady to come and make pancakes and tell stories about the old fucking Confederate South. It really was a that shit really happened. So well, that's Aunt why. Jemima. Yeah, and that shit came from a minstrel show. Man, 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 keep the goddamn lady on there. Man, let listen. let the syrup be great. You know what this shit like? What, what, what they Miss doing Butters now? Miss Butterworth is out of here. You know what they doing now? You, it's like if you had no, if you got, if you watching somebody else's child. You know when you mm -hmm. like, if you left no man here and said she go watch a real quick, I'm great, run to the store. As soon as you walk out, she start crying. First thing I'm gonna do, oh baby, what you, what you want? Some, you want this paper? Mm -hmm. you, you, you want this candle? What you need? Which, just to try to appease it, but you ain't really Hold doing on. it.
motherfucker. But push that, a motherfucker. Yeah. But that shit, that shit fed us, though. That shit did something to the, you know what I mean? Oh, you must ain't got hit in the club for you. Ain't never got hit. Man, I'm we hitting. Ain't nigga even hit me. Yeah, dude, pick me up so goddamn high one night. Don't get hit. That's the number one rule. A nigga Do picked you up, huh? A club. nigga picked you up. My brother don't got jumped. <laughs> they got jumped in Douglasville, Georgia, one time. I was with them, but they didn't get me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that nigga said that wasn't me. That nigga said that wasn't me. How the hell they get jumped? Yeah. How the hell they get jumped? We came. I had a girlfriend in Douglasville in high school, so we drive up here. So we went to one party, and the dude walk. I had my little armor jacket on. Dude walked up to her like, "What's up, Jabril?" I like, "Hold up, partner." Hey, I don't know what y'all doing ain't here, dog. But hey, man, when I'm here, she mine. Right. Yeah, I was like, ooh, I was like, yeah. Man. Yeah. I walked back to my crown, big, you know what I'm saying? So went to another party. Right. But for, by this time, he don't call all his homeboys, just country boy, in the, in the jacket. Right. He, they, they, they remember my jacket and everything. But he wanted to borrow my jacket, right. my brother Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> Thank that God for that. Up. That fucked up. <laughs> that fucked up. <laughs> they beat you up, bro. Uh, no. Nah. He got a, he got away. My boy Kendall got away, but my homeboy Neil, Neil, I know you watching this, boy. Damn. They jumped over, they were so scared. Cause when we ran out, right. we in the party. Now I'm chilling. They, they, they trying to go around. He don't even know what I just did. Right. So he had my jacket on. So when they came back around, we seen some dude with a bunch of cell phones. Over his head and my homeboy here, I mean Neil head, and they were like, oh, uh, you know, the squad in the building. I'm like, the damn squad. I'm like, so I, I said, oh hell. So <laughs> see, I like I ain't know what going on at first. I was like, man, and I see one dude fist balled up so goddamn tight, his hand up like a biscuit. I said, ooh. I said, God. I said, I bet he won't be the one to hit me. <laughs> What? We ran through the back. We walked. I said, y'all, let's go. Uh, Cause they figured out. It took them a while to figure out what was going on. Right. They sitting up lean with it. Rock. I said, boy, you finna get rocked. Let's go out of here. Right <laughs> we went out the door, but we, we at the essence. Right. So we about to get out. Them boy came back. They said, hey, man. Hey, where y'all think y'all going at? I was like, I'm just trying to go wherever I can go to my car. <laughs> man, we opened the door. My homeboy Neil was so scared. He reached around and locked the back. And all of a sudden, a dude swung. He hit my brother, but my brother said he ain't hit him, but I seen him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I seen that print, and you know when you kind of get hit, it don't swell up, but right. you if, see it. I'm like, well, if you if he ain't hit you, what did hit you? <laughs> <laughs> the complexion of your face changed on your cheek. Right. <laughs> Went outside, man, so they all ran forward, but oh. I bust this way. And when I bust this way, a couple of them looked at me, but they were like, well, hell, the crowd going that way, so they let me go. So when I went in, I had a black t-shirt on and tank top. I took my shirt off. And I walked back through and I was like, man, that messed up what they doing to them country boys down there, dog. <laughs> <laughs> man, when I got outside, it was in the neighborhood. You know how they rent the pool house? Yeah. I ran so far loose that I was back there in this neighborhood. I ain't know where I was at. I was back there in the creek where I seen the frogs and all that, boy. No. I didn't come out till I seen the police light. No. And I seen the police light. <laughs> Cause the police call I came out. I was like, hey man, where them boys at, dog? Where them boys at? <laughs> I was like, man, where they at, man? Where them boys that tried me? And, uh, I, so I asked my brother, I said, y'all all right? He was looking like this. He was like, because they had locked themselves in the car. They had, no. <laughs> oh, I thought y'all was around some killers, man. They had they locked themselves in a girl named Maya car, man. They locked themselves in a girl named Maya car. But he, he said he didn't get hit, but uh, he got away. He had some Air Force Ones with no shoe strings in it. Right. He jumped over the fence, and those fences were high. Mm. So he, that was. That was fierce. That yeah, was fierce. Right. Cause you know how them pool fences is. My homeboy Kendall got away, but my homeboy Neil, he tried to climb the fence. They grabbed him. They grabbed him by the, the booty cheeks. They told that boy, <laughs> true story. They grabbed that boy from that fence and was beating him. He was like, man, they were like, take his J's. He was like, man, no, these my only J's. <laughs> no. Me <laughs> 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 gotta keep the J's. Yeah, they, they had him by his legs right. and his arm. They say, throw him in the pool. He say, no, I can't swim. <laughs> Your ass whoop and torture. <laughs> yeah. They did so bad. They let him. They let him walk back and everything, man. Whoa. It was messed up, boy. I was, I was like, I hope them boy got their Medicaid card. Cause I thought they all had got beat up, but him, him and my boy Kilner got away. But cause bro said he didn't get hit, but Damn, he had got bro. hit that first time. <laughs> That's all right. He ain't looked away, up man. since you said this shit. Uh, <laughs> he ain't looked up since. He reminiscing, man. Damn. Y'all yeah. let my boy to get beat up like that. Nah, we ain't leaving, but you know. You went back in the park. Huh? 
We went no, back to the party. Because the party the had party. really ran to see what's up. It wasn't oh, that many yeah. people in the party. Mm. It was about like 30 more people in there. Like, man, that messed up what was going on out there, boy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga went and changed characters right quick. Help is on the way. He came back a whole, <laughs> a whole other nigga. <laughs> Where them niggas at? I've been out there with the frogs. Where these niggas at? But we tried to go. After that, we were looking for him though. Mm. Yeah, the, the, I remember the dude DJ, man. DJ from Douglasville. No, I ain't gonna start now, but mm -hmm. I don't know how you look for real. No, no. Oh, yeah. yeah, but he's yeah. still out there, don't talk. He's still out he there. remember that story. He worked out of zone, bro. He like, girl, I told you, that was us. He, Country, he talking about us. He been telling that story, yeah. nigga. Ever since you blew up, that's his story. He been telling that story. Man, you know, we were going to whoop Country oh, Wayne. Oh, we to <laughs> We whooped his brother. He got a punch. He acting like he We grabbed yeah. the butt cheese, remember? <laughs> Whoa, 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 you could have left that part out, what man. You ain't say that part. Every time he tell the story, why he say that? <laughs> <laughs> Grab his ass, Chief, pull him down. <laughs> pull him down, boy. You'll fight for it live, though. They, they ain't get Wayne. Wayne got away, man. Wayne figured out how to get away. You talking about Wayne got away?